Hi, this is Caleb from React Gamification Marketing Software, and I'm here to introduce you to the new Trivia Game Builder functionality, which we launched in February 2024. So if you create a new campaign, you can see the Trivia Builder being the new option in the selection. What makes this game special is now you can include all different types of questions into one comprehensive game. But the main thing that is new is when you add a new question, then you can choose which type of a question you want to ask. You can choose a text choice, which is the same as before in a trivia game, but you can also ask a number question. You can predict the uh, ask a question based on a specific score. You can also ask questions where people will have to guess what is the correct order. And you can also ask even swipe questions where people swipe left and right if they think the answer is correct or incorrect. Of course, you can still ask picture questions and you can now also ask text inputs. So what word is the correct word? If you choose any of these question types, then the next screen is also brand new. Here's where you define your questions, what you want to ask. As you can see, you can add the question you're about to ask here on the first row. And this updates the preview on the right as well. Here, you can add images to your question. And you can also add an audio file. If you want to change the order of how those options are shown, you can just drag and drop to the correct location. Adding the choices and being able to select multiple choices acts the same way as before. You just add in the choices and mark which of these correct. If you want people to only guess one option out of the several, you should disable this option. Another new feature is the feedback slide. So if a person answers this question, you may want to also explain in more detail why was this correct or incorrect. In the feedback slide, you have the option to toggle this on. If you toggle this on, then as you can see, you can add a title. And you can also show an image. By default, if you toggle this show option on, it shows you the check mark whether it was correct. And it also shows you the red cross mark if it was incorrect. You can also change those colors from the game visuals, which I will show you later. If, for example, you would want to choose another image to be shown here, you can upload a custom image as well. On the bottom, you can also include a longer description of why this answer was correct and change the font size and colors as you see fit. But what if the answer they gave was incorrect? So here, you can also define different options for correct and incorrect answers. If you toggle this on, then this is only shown if it's correct answer, and you can include a totally different one if this was incorrect. On the third tab is the miscellaneous. Currently, you can add a custom background to only this specific question. So if you toggle this on and upload a different background, then when this question is loaded, then the background changes to the added background. Now, if you save this question, you also notice that this question is highlighted blue. This is how you can change also the question which is in the preview. A new tab is added to the game entirely, which is the settings. If you go to the settings, you can now see that a lot of the options that were previously scattered across the editor are now all brought here. For example, we have the reveal correct answers. This is if you want to show what was the correct answer after the answer was given. You can see it from here on the right, this check mark. You can change the color of this check mark from here. The second option is to reveal how other players answered. This can be seen if you choose an option, then the bar fills up with the percentages shown how many people guessed which options. On different questions, it's shown a little bit differently. For example, in the number question, this is shown as a percentage on the bottom. You can change the label of the text from here. If you toggle this off, then this is not shown. And the third option is as always the progress bar. If you toggle this on, 
Then on the top, you will see the progress bar of how many questions are still remaining. In the question settings, you can still randomize those questions. So if you toggle this on, all those questions will be asked in a random order. You can limit how many questions are asked. So if you add around 100 questions, you can say that every person who comes will be shown five questions at random.